Hey guys, welcome to ESM Cast. Uh, it's been a while since the last time I made a video of how I did uh, some settings, and this time for your request that wanted to see how I did my setups for dual motors. So it's very simple. So um, I gonna I I had a few minutes to do this uh, short video, uh, so you guys can see how I did my setups. This is a simple two wire setup. So what you're gonna need to do is to connect the brake cable in the throttle together in the two dashboards. I found that this is the safest way to do this setup for beginners. Note that in this setup you need to turn on both touch by hand. When connecting the, all the wires back together, do not connect the, the brake part, the lever part, that has to be completely removed uh, out of um, touch. The great thing about this um, simple setup of two wires is that um, controllers will work individually and there is not going to be like a, a NOx or anything like that. Meanwhile, the, the scooter is in motion. As in the three wire um, connections, also it has that issue that it has an, a knocking. Meanwhile, it's in motion. And it's because, I mean, the, one of the wires it connect, it's, it's like uh, connecting the two. Uh, controllers at the same time but this is mainly the dash that is uh he uses i mean also it's great because it works um uh you press only one dash and then them both go on and off but the downside is that um he has that knocking um the motors i mean because they don't synchronize when they don't synchronize simply has the little knocking and the thing nobody mentions about it and nobody discovered it before is that uh, you need to remove actually the um, the brake, uh, the lever wiring to, st to eliminate the curves because when uh, we do um, the forward we eliminate the, the curves but for some reason there is always curves on regardless if in the frameworks are being removed uh, and you can test it by yourself you put your free wheels on top and then uh, remove the curves and then press the brake and you'll see that uh, they work I mean the, the, the curves are still on regardless if a uh, firmware shows that it's soft. And yes, that's what it happens uh, once uh, we press the brake in um, the Kirks are on. Um, if we dual motor, what happens is burn instantly the, um, the controllers and also the battery smokes. Either it smokes or it just uh, shut off, which is a pain in the neck to bring them back to life. And as a reminder, again, this uh, because you do all the settings, uh, you have to use disc brakes in your in both, in both wheels. So that part is very important for safety because you know once we put two motors to, to the scooter, the scooter will go faster even though if you only are on 36B and you are using uh, G2 motors. This uh, setup was set, uh, was test also even in the firmware that at my max mode has. So fat max motor will work just great. I mean, it's a great motor and it works great. But also you can use the, use the G1 and G2 motors and also you can use any other motor in combination as you like. And these are all the parts needed for the conversion to dual motor and nine watt max scooter. So what you need is a second motor, which is a uh, uh, it could be the same or it could be a fat max or not any other motor that you're actually using so you're going to you need a motor you need a second controller you need a second dashboard you need uh, electrical wires like about uh, one foot of it red and black and then you need uh, one of the original forks that from the from the scooter and then you need uh, the battery um, cable that it connects to the um, to the two controllers and then uh, you have you need uh, this uh, wiring, which is the original wiring to rewire a motor. So you need this uh, this this part as well. And then you need the wire that it connects the control board to the dashboard from motor. So what you're gonna do is uh, cut off this uh, these wires uh, one at a time, uh, cut them off from here. And then you're gonna do the same with this one. You're gonna uh, open this uh, covering and peel off one wire at a time, cut them off. So what's going to happen here, as we can see, this is how the extension wire comes in. So what you're going to do is um, attach all of them separately, uh, one at a time, um, to, to the original part of the motor. So this one will give you enough length. And then what you're going to do is uh, cut this um, the original bullet connectors that it comes with, so you can actually add the MR60. 
So what you're gonna end up with is going to do something like this. As we can see, this is um, not, not an adapter I have already made. Um, this is uh, just gonna be your wire and connecting to, to this over here to the motor. So when it's a lot, so you, you wanna have to do match the wires exactly as they are. And if you have the FATMAX motor, watch out for the, for the wiring uh, orientation, how they go. Okay, so this is how it's going to go in, uh, in this motor. And, and then what you're gonna do is uh, put another MR60 in our end. This one, you don't need to add anything else more than like it comes, it's a, it's a um, original wire from the, from the motor. So this will go just straight black and plate, but this one, you're gonna have to add the MR60 connector. And here we have the controller part. So as we can see, I mean, uh, this is the wire that I was talking about earlier. And this is the one that uh, the male part is gonna go to the battery, which is the female part. And then uh, it comes with uh, two female parts. One that will go to the main controller, which is the shorter one. And the second pole, which is gonna be the lens that you will need for the second controller that will reach all the way outside the scooter. So what's gonna happen here, you connect uh, one, one female to, to the male of the controller and then you connect the second female to the male of the second controller. Making sure that this is connected the right too. And there's no way to miss it because again, this is only one male part and two female parts. How to connect the control board to the rest of the system. So first you're gonna connect to your motor to the MR60 connection, and then you're gonna get your wire from the uh, motor to the, which is the whole sensor, which is gonna connect right there. And then uh, you're gonna connect um, with this one, this um, wiring, which is the one that goes to the dashboard. This one connect right here to that port. So mainly what you're gonna be connecting only in, the, in this part is going to be the, 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 the motor and the dashboard, nothing else. That's all you connect to it. And then once it's all connected and all hooked up, uh, you're gonna come back and connect your power to your controller. In this part, I'm gonna uh, tell you a little bit how to do this. As we can see, this fits over here. So what you're gonna do is, you know, cut it off inside fully, leaving the empty hollow inside there. And then uh, you're gonna make a cut over here. And other it's a simple thing to do. I mean, uh, you don't have to. I mean, uh, if you don't have the way to do to get a print, simply get this done. And here we go, I have my bags for the, for the second dash. So it's very simple to make, as you can see, I make two holes over here. One is gonna be for the, for the controller wire and the other one is going to be to, for the connection that it goes to the other controller, which is two wires only. So that's gonna be the button and that's gonna be fit. What I'm going to do is um, put it right here with this uh, rubber. And it's gonna be high glue it, hot glue it in, and properly sealed so it will be uh, waterproof and i'm going to install it right here on the side so it's going to be done this way and as we can see i have the two wires over here the black and the red as i as i said previously the red wire is going to be the, the throttle and the black wire is the brake i did a red wire for um for a throttle black wire for the brake so in this case i'm going to be connecting the black wire to the blue which is data, and then I'm going to be connecting the, the red to the green connection over here, but not this one, it's going to be the ones that I already have built. So, and I'm gonna seal it, and that's gonna be all. As we can see, I had glued it already. As you can see, it's coming out a little bit on the sides, which is perfect, that's what I want. For my button, it's just too deep. I make a little part. Extra right there. That's it. Put a little piece of tape on the top. The last part to complete this setup. It's plastic that goes on the core of the screen. So now as we can see, this thing is completely set. You can hardly tell that it's a fork. Turn it into a housing for the 
touch. I don't need this because this is synchronized with the second one so this is going to be going like that because uh, whatever numbers are going to uh, see here I'm going to see them right here which I don't need really because I mean these um, uh, readers are not really accurate simply uh, on and off switch that's all I need and you too that's all you're going to need on and, on. on and off switch and also a light that's it in this part, we're going to pretend that this is the main dashboard. So what you're going to do first is going to unplug your your dashboard from the main connection that it reaches the controller. And then uh, you're going to connect, I mean, uh, I'm going to get uh, this off from the tube that is in the, in the scooter. You can cancel that wrap with a tube and a, and a zip tie, cut off the zip tie and remove it. And then uh, you're going to be able to see all these connections together right there. So what you're going to do is unplug the, the throttle, which is this one, and then the the brake uh, connector, which is uh, this one over here. So as we can see, this is a male, uh, female part, a male part, and, and this one is a female part. So unplug those two, and then you're gonna peel off this wire, the blue wire, and you're gonna connect from the, from these cables, you're gonna connect, connect the black cable to the blue. Red will go to the green wire in the throttle. So the same situation, you're gonna, in the, in the throttle, you're gonna have to be really careful not to damage anything because that is needed. So what you're gonna do is uh, peel it off over here a little bit and then connect to the other wire and wrap it up and make sure that it's sealed. And then uh, connect your throttle back again and um, leaving the brake. This is important. Uh, the reason why, I mean, the controllers get burned with um, with motors is, is because of this, this connection. So well, you're not gonna connect the brake anymore. And that, why did I say that you need a disc brake and, uh, and, and these motors? It is because you're eliminating completely the braking part in this connection. All right, so once it's done, once you have the, the black cable connected to the blue and the red one connected to the green, and you have the wire running through in the position you want it towards uh, to the second dashboard, uh, cover your, um, connect your, your throttle back, uh, wrap it up with tape properly so this doesn't move to not connect the brake back. Now let's talk about the second dashboard. What you're gonna do is once you get it, uh, all you're gonna need from this dashboard is gonna be the blue wire and the green wire. So you can uh, simply cut off the, the things from here and peel off the wires. And then what you're gonna do is the black wire is gonna come to the blue line and the red one is gonna come to the green. And that's all you need for this connection. Um, you don't need to plug anything else. All right, so your connections, you don't need to actually go inside the dashboard to do that connections. As you know, that from the from the regular scooter, regular connections also, you have a throttle, and then the wire runs along the, the handlebar. And also from the from the brake lever, also it comes a wire like this, that it, it runs a lot around there. So what you're gonna need to do is uh, lose the cable, the, the, the screw from here, loose up the, the get closer, the, the, uh, the lever so it, it gives you a little bit of space without to take out the wire and then you're going to peel it off and um, you know remove it until you, you get to the wires and you need to get out as you can see over here I mean uh, as this one and this one over here I have this uh, this lever I mean these two wires are cut off so as you can see and that that is um, my connection over here from the from the lever and that was cut off so what I did is uh, simply uh, get the yellow wire over here that I have, which is an additional connection already, but that was a blue blue wire over here, that is the ones that actually connects to the, to the dashboard. So I got this one here, and that's the one that connects to the dashboard, and it goes to the second dash over here, as you can see. And as we can see over right here, I have the, uh, my connections, black is for, for the brake, and red is for the, for a throttle, as you can see, this is a throttle and it's connected. The red is connected to to a red uh, to a wire over here, which is the the yellow as well. And you know, I have a bunch of uh, messed up wires over here, but uh, I know which ones are and what's the positive, what's the negative, and what's the data cable. So in this one, I just did that connection. As we can see, it goes right here. There's a throttle over here. There's a throttle part, and it goes inside, and then uh, pops out here, and then it connects to the to the red wire over here. And that's all I need. I mean, uh, you don't need to actually 
get into the touch board in order to do this connection so you actually can do them outside without having to touch inside there.